Hello and welcome. We're excited to share Project Site with you. My name is Matt Sprague, Senior Product Marketing Manager for Trimble. We will begin with a short overview of Project Site, and then I'll invite one of our sales engineers, Jimmy Getz, to join us and provide a deeper dive into the drawings module. Project Site is Trimble's next generation solution for the from the team who brought you Prologue. Project Site is built to support project teams in managing construction projects so you can eliminate risks and deliver the work you promised on time and on budget. Trimble's Project Site is a construction project management software for budget and cost management, document control, and field management designed specifically for contractors. Project Site was built from the ground up to be priced right, scalable and secure, built on the latest cloud technologies, intuitive and easy to use, and comes with unlimited data storage. The system is ready to be used out of the box, but in case you would like to adjust the product to your processes, it can be easily configured. So what comes out of the box? Project Site has everything you would expect from a project management solution. Models and drawings, budget and cost management, including the ability to track and manage change, document control, things like RFIs and submittals, field management, where you can track quality and safety. We also provide dashboards and a file library, and Project Site also includes Trimble Connect, our collaboration environment that enables architects, engineers, contractors, and owners to collaborate on building projects. So let's dig in a little bit more. The industry standard in construction budgeting cost management software helps your project team manage project finances to maximize profits and minimize costs. With over 25 years of successful project deliveries, Project Site provides the forward-looking project financial information you need to make better decisions on all of your projects. Particular functionality includes budgets and commitments, purchase orders, payments, contracts, change management, and much, much more. Project Site gives you access to all of your drawings in the field. Access the latest drawings with markups and annotations directly on the PDF file, whether you're on your desktop or mobile. Additionally, through Trimble Connect, you can utilize 3D models for design and project management purposes. Or why not look at as-built point clouds and 3D models at the same time to visualize and capture design issues or manage change orders more effectively? Our document control modules ensure that all stakeholders are working from the most up-to-date information available, whether you're in the office or in the field. Team members can collaborate and converse on key RFIs, submittals, and more without having to use paper-based forms. Additional functionality includes meeting minutes, action items, submittals, RFIs, drawings, issues, transmittals, and we're adding more as we continue to evolve. Improved field management with software that establishes direct lines of communication with the field, ensuring everyone is working safely, building off the most current information available, and updating the team on what is actually happening on the site. Interface easily with punch lists, safety notices, daily reports, field work directives, notices to comply, and checklists. So that's our general overview of Project Site. Today, as I mentioned before, we're looking to do a deep dive into the drawings module. So I am now going to hand this over to our sales engineer, Jimmy Getz, to bring you through our drawings module. Thanks, Matt. So let's take a look at the drawings module. And I'm going to start here on the home page. Uh, I am Jack Clifton, logged in as Jack Clifton. He is a project manager. So within Project Site, we, we allow the ability to have uh, unlimited users, uh, and what we're able to do is give certain people certain access to different modules. So in Jack's case, he has kind of uh, super admin rights, so he can see everything, he can do everything, um, uh, but we can certainly limit that 
down to having somebody just specifically working with, in this example, the drawings module. Now, the drawings module is made up of two different areas, drawing sets, which is how we load up the drawings within the system, and the drawings uh, section, which is where you annotate and collaborate upon those drawings. Let's go into drawing sets, and Jack is going to load up a couple of drawings. Now, the first thing we'll see here is, is our landing page for the drawing sets, and this is our log view of everything that's happening within that specific area. I've filtered this out to just show open drawing sets, but as you can see, uh, without throughout Project Site, um, we do have the ability to sort and as well as group and filter uh, what you're looking at on this screen here. And this allows Jack to quickly save that view as his uh, specific view he wants to see uh, when he logs in. This little plus icon allows him to go ahead and load up those PDF drawings. So he's gotten the drawings from the architect. He is going to, uh, maybe this is a revision to a drawing. He is going to quickly add those into the system. So I'm just gonna click on one of them. And we have an auto detect area here that's gonna allow you to quickly capture the information from the drawing that is necessary. So I'm gonna go highlight that drawing number, that drawing title. I can, I can include a revision date. Uh, or a discipline, or I can click kind of a drop down area here, and I can complete the rest of the form here, right? I can choose the status, the workflow. These are all configurable drop downs. <clears throat> and I can also choose this OCR button. This is optical character recognition. This is going to allow the system to go ahead and read any linked files within the drawing sets. So if there's an A501 call out here that links to an additional drawing, I can go ahead and uh, be able to click on that inside of A202. So once I go ahead and click next, you'll notice that the population of that information here. And I can certainly update anything I would like. I could also use a file name as opposed to the auto detect functionality that you saw. Now within this drawing set, I can go ahead and browse for my additional drawings and load them in here. I can also assign them to an individual or uh, make comments and collaboration on these drawing sets. Once I'm ready to publish, I'll click publish, and this allows me to publish that to all participants in the project or only specific participants in this drawing set. So it gives you the ability to do that. Once I publish that drawing, we can go to our drawing section where we can view that drawing and we can annotate and collaborate upon it. Now here is a tile view of all the drawings in the system. I have filtered this. Uh, I have my view as uh, building one, and I can also view this in a list format if necessary. I like the tile view because it allows for that quick thumbnail view of the drawing. I'm gonna go ahead and click on A201. First thing you'll notice is a lot of different colors and annotations on the drawing. We're going to focus on that here in a second. The first thing you'll see up at the top is it says revision three, it says current version. So anytime a new revision is loaded into the system, it replaces the old revision in there. That old one can certainly be found within the system, but uh, for any users out there that are using the drawings module to look at A201, they're always going to be looking at the most recent, the most current version that's in the system. I can also overlay additional revisions onto this drawing. So if I wanted to look at revision two on top of revision three, I can do that. <clears throat> Once I do that, I can then turn off and on the different versions so I can see the differences in the drawings. There's not a lot of differences in these drawings here, uh, but maybe in this open area, uh, there might be uh, the ability to go ahead and um, turn those into uh, smaller offices. Nowadays, that might be this plan and this allows you to kind of see those changes. The other thing I can do is filter on and off the annotations, as well as filter down to specific items that I want to look at. Maybe that's just open punch items. On the left side here is our annotation tools. So we have the ability to draw, uh, cloud different areas, add shapes, 
this is our quick link tool that allows you to quickly drop in an RFI, an issue, a punch item, a drawing, or a file. Uh, we can add some text to the drawing, and we can also do some measurements here. So we first calibrate, and then we can find the perimeter, the distance, and areas of certain areas within the drawing set. So let's take a look at a couple of these. I'm gonna start here at this RFI. So this is RFI added to the drawing. I'm gonna click this little arrow, and that's gonna give me the ability to open that up on the right side without leaving the drawing. So I have the ability to quickly look at different things without going back and forth between the drawing and the RFI module. Now on the right side, I can see this is assigned to me. It looks like um, there's a quick question here about network drops. Um, is an image included in here as well as the reference to the drawing. So I can quickly come in here and make my comment. I can log that as the answer. I can change the status and I can complete that specific item right here on this drawing scene, screen. Everything you see here can be done within the iPad on the iPad app. So I can, I can be out in the field walking around. Uh, I can notice a specific issue and I can go ahead and track that right here on the drawings and pin it to the drawing set. Let's look at one more here, and in this case, I'm gonna open this up into a new window. And this allows me to see uh, the full collaboration between the teams around this specific issue, 003. So it looks like there was a structural drawing uh, that was, they needed to confirm the length of the steel in the stairwell. Um, so they wanted to go ahead and annotate that on the drawing, but as well, they wanted to attach a model view. And the model view comes from our Trimble Connect platform where you can store and collaborate upon the BIM models. So what I've done here is I've taken a quick snapshot of this section here. I've annotated on it uh, and I've allowed the ability for people to view that. So Trimble Connect comes with Project Site. Uh, so any user can have access to it if they need to go ahead and look at a BIM model um, to reference that. In the case here, I've taken a quick snapshot of that and I've attached it right here within the drawing module on this issue. Now this, this really gives anybody the ability to go in there and see that information. So getting the information when they need it and where they need it is the key here. So there has been collaboration back and forth between the various teams on this issue. I can see that here. I can also see if there's an impact related to this issue. And that impact might be a cost where this might, I might have to turn this into uh, or attach this to a potential change order. There's also our history tab. And the history tab and the comments tab are very uh, consistent throughout the product when you're dealing with any other type of record. Uh, the impact tab might be unique just for issues and it's also on RFIs, um, but you might have on safety notices, you might have a safety uh, input area there as well. On the right side, you'll see those details of the form as well as the various individuals it was assigned to throughout the process and any courtesy copies that I wanted to give out. This is in an open status, but our statuses are configurable depending on your process. And when I assign it to individuals, they'll get an email. In that email, they can quickly open that record by clicking on a link, or they can reply to that email, and we're gonna capture that in the comments section. So at any point, somebody can go ahead and, and answer this, uh, complete this, log it as a resolution, change the status to completed, but they can also attach a number of different types of records within the systems. So Project Site is, is very good about linking records together. So if this issue had a cost impact and I need to go ahead and create a potential change order from this or a notice to comply if it's a safety issue, I can do that. So I can quickly click on this potential change order, create new, um, and that way when I'm looking at the change order throughout that process, I can always see that it was referenced in here in my link icon, I can see the various records that was linked to this specific issue. So there's a change order here, there's an RFI as well, there's three design files, and there's one uploaded image. So very consistent uh, trail of information uh, within Project Site can, can be built uh, and just allows you to see that full issue and the history of that issue through the process. So let's go back here and Let's look at our annotation tools, and I'm just going to quickly draw a big cloud here in this open office. And I can do a couple things here. 
I can upload images. I can attach documents from our file library. I can uh, reference other drawings, model view like you saw, outside web links I can include in here. And then I can also attach it to any record within project site. So in this case, it's just an RFI. I want to create a new one, or I can use an existing one that I have in the system. If I created one today off of the drawing set uh, in a different process, then I could link to it here within the drawing set. Or I can just create a new one. It'll pop out on the right side. I'll go ahead and complete my form. I'll submit that, make any other links I need necessary, uh, and, and, and that RFI would then be submitted to the RFI log. A couple other things I can do, I can download the drawing, I can also print um, that type of information as well. At any point I have questions about the software and I need to learn a little bit more, we have our question mark symbol here that's going to allow you to open up the online help, which will open up directly into that annotation module where we're at right now, inside the drawing viewer uh, help section uh, nested inside the drawings area. Uh, there's also how-to guides, there's a video library. Um, we also include some information from the company like what's new, as well as support information. And then at any point, uh, if I'm a client and I want to submit a, a new idea, uh, we have an area for you to do that. Uh, allows for all of our clients to collaborate upon the tool and help uh, build out new features and functionality throughout. Because as a SaaS-based tool, we're always iterating on the product always making it better and always looking for our clients to help us in that process. So there's the high level view of the drawings module and I'll, sh I'll give this back over to Matt and thank you for your time. Thanks, Jimmy. Uh, appreciate you bringing us through the drawings module today. That was fantastic. Um, before we finish up today, just wanted to make sure that I provide you uh, the location of additional resources and if you have any any questions that you have, uh, how you to get them answered. So uh, first and foremost, and obviously, is our website. So projectsite.trimble.com has a wealth of information. Um, in particular is our resources page. So at the top, if you click on resources, it brings you to all of our white papers and case studies and eBooks, uh, additional webinars that, that, that we have going on, on-demand webinars, uh, anything along those lines. Um, and uh, one additional thing is if you have questions uh, directly from our website, you have the ability to chat uh, with somebody directly uh, from our team. Uh, so in this case, we have Anne, Bill, and Patty are, are available to answer any questions that you have, and they're, they're a fantastic resource to leverage as well. So with that, I uh, thank you very much for taking the time today, and we look forward to providing you more information in the future.